Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This weekend we are in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. I've never been here before, but I'm super, super excited because I've heard a lot of good things about this place. So let's get it started. And the first place that we're gonna be going to is called the Map Room. Starting off with their watermelon crusher, which is watermelon juice and limeade. Very, very good. We're starting off with their Dublin fries, which is garam masala curry, mayonnaise, white cheddar curds, and green onion. course I got the Napoli burger which has fresh mozzarella, roasted tomatoes, pesto, and so much more. Oh it looks so good. Dinner was absolutely delicious. I mean that burger was so juicy and it was cooked to perfection. I highly recommend that place. It was so good. 10 out of 10. Good morning everybody. We are going to start our day off with some coffee and breakfast at a little cafe called Dash Coffee Roasters. Dash Coffee was such a cute cafe located near downtown Cedar Rapids. It also seemed like a workspace where quite a few people brought their computers and iPads to do a little bit of work or even just reading a book while drinking their coffee. I ordered a delicious cappuccino as well as their Garden Delight sandwich, which was amazing. It was very, very good. 10 out of 10. Very delicious. Alright, so next up for lunch, we're gonna try a place called O's Grill, which is Mediterranean food, and I love Mediterranean food, so I'm excited to check this place out. Alright, so I got the O's bowl, and it's got rice on the bottom, and then lamb, tomatoes, onions, it's topped with tzatziki and cilantro. Gotta get a little bit of everything in there. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. There's something different about this tzatziki sauce that I've never tasted before. And it's really doing it for me. Next up on our agenda is a place called Cafe St. Pio. It's located inside the Czech village that I was at yesterday. I got their avocado toast and I decided to do something a little bit different and I added some sausage on top, but it's very, very good. It's also on sourdough bread, great combination. And then I got their macchiato and the waitress also gave me a shot glass of sparkling water, which I've never been given sparkling water to with a macchiato. But one of the waitresses said that it's to help, I guess, cleanse yourself after you finish drinking your macchiato. We are now headed to Lightworks Cafe. I've been driving around trying to figure out where this place is, but I guess it's inside another building called Ben's Beverage Depot. So I'm gonna turn around real quick and see if I can find it. Thank you. 
So I got their cappuccino and chia seed pudding, which is chia seed pudding. Topped with almond shavings, strawberries, and blueberries. I'm gonna be starting off with the wine flights. So you can choose either three sweet, three chilled, or three red wines. So first we have the Atlas, which is sweet, exhibiting luscious tropical fruit flavors of papaya and mango with a clean, balanced finish. Then you have the Harvest Blush, which is sweet apple and concord blend. And then you have the Apple Cranberry, which is sweet and tart blend of apple and cranberry. We are about to eat so good. I got the Smoked Gouda and Ribeye Pizza. I think the Apple Cranberry is definitely my favorite wine. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video gave you an idea of all the different places that you could eat at here in Cedar Rapids. They definitely had a variety of things, but I enjoyed each and every place that I went to and it was so delicious. Make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.